1986 Topps Football Wax Pack, number 132. Let's randomize the list nine times. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Great. Jason, you have the first card and the last card in the break. ready to go awesome folks just after this we have a lot of folks watching we're going to do a guess that gum for a ten dollar break credit to vintagebreaks.com so if you want to have a chance to win stay tuned right after this pack we don't usually do those often on the show lose that'll be fun make sure we got the list up for everyone and we do great We got the convention coming up next weekend we're super excited about. Oh, that's the Valley Forge uh, King of Prussia convention. Just outside the uh, King of Prussia Mall. So, you know, make the trip down with your wife, with the family, send the kids to the mall, hang out uh, at the card show, and if you get done early, go to the casino upstairs. It's pretty good. I gotta tell you, it's pretty good. It's really not a bad weekend at all. My wife's been asking me, she's like, why don't you invite me? I said, you can come down anytime you like. It's really terrible. They have good restaurants. They have uh, good shopping for you if you'd like. I don't know how much Crosby's going to like them all. Um, but I'm, I provided they have a toy store. I'm sure he'll be just fine. <laughs> Darren Nelson. So you'll be interesting, Lou. Forget about the favorites. Who's like your dark horse team in the NFL this year? To whether it be just make some noise or, meaning make the playoffs, or you think they have a legit chance of making the Super Bowl, but it's a dark horse. You know, meaning, like, not the Chiefs, right? You know, not the Saints, but, like, you know, like, I'm not saying the Jets, right? Of course, I think the Jets, but I'm also sick. Um, yeah, think about it. And folks out there, let, let us know what you think. I'm curious. Who's your dark horse to make some noise in the NFL this year? Not necessarily win the Super Bowl, but make the playoffs at least, and someone that we're not expecting. Yeah, like an overperformer that you think is going to legit make the playoffs. Yeah. I don't think it's a bad pick at all because I think Derek Carr is still a legit quarterback. Um, they drafted the, that that running back. Um, ooh, got a fridge rookie. Um, tough to find center, of course. Um, and I don't know about their defense, so I'm not sure about that. But offensively, I think with getting A.B., if he performs, I think they have enough talent to score. I just don't know how their defense is. I agree with you. I'm looking at some other picks here. Josh Jacobs. I'm looking at, uh, so someone said the Bucks. Tampa Bay. I mean, listen, Jameis Winston, if he doesn't... Yes, I agree. Now, Jeff, I agree with you on the Browns, but I feel like the Browns are not really a dark horse at this point. A lot of people think the Browns are going to be good. Yeah, well, exactly. And, and to be fair, a lot of people think they're going to be good, so it's not really a dark horse per se. The, bill, the Bills I have not heard, Jeff. It'll be interesting to see um, uh, who's their quarterback. Is it Lamar? Lamar um, is it Jackson? Am I getting it right? Um, it's going to be interesting to see what he can do with the full season. But the Ravens are always tough. I agree with you. Oh, that's interesting, John. So what do you think Nick Foles is going to do in Jacksonville? What's up, Barney? 
Listen, you have Fournette as a running back. They have a very solid defense. They have what's his name from the Giants in the front office, who I think does an excellent job. Um, I think it's been an interesting year in the NFL. And I'm hoping. We're going to find out. See if he can stay healthy. Hey, Logan. Hope all is well, bud. 